Good morning and welcome to Lake Christy. I'm Christy Overton Johnson and this morning I wanted to bring you once again to one of my favorite places in the world and that's Lake Christy and I'm giving you a little panoramic view here um, because I wanted to talk to you this morning about having vision and uh, this place is a great example of having vision because my father had a vision for this place um, in the early 1980s and he purchased this land in 1980 and it looked like that, all woods. It was all woods and farmland and um, he had a vision for a lake so that his daughter, me, could come out and ski every single day um, on that very course right there. It's missing a few buoys right now. Um, but a place for his daughter to ski. And you know, when he bought this place, he, he had something in his heart. He had a vision. And over the years, this place has developed into one of the most beautiful places in the world. And um, it's just a great example how when you have something on your heart, now I'm going to try not to make you sick here as I put the camera down. Um, as you have something in your heart that God has laid on your, on your heart to do, that if you have vision for it, and then you make a decision to start moving forward towards that vision, that great things can be accomplished. Um, like I said, this place was all farmlands. It was woods. It was just a little bitty creek that went through there. But with the help of some bulldozers and, and with the help of um, a lot of people here cutting the grass and planting grass and planting trees, this place has evolved into such a unique place and there's nowhere else like it in the world. And this encourages me because I have seen what has happened here over the years. Every year my dad would just do a little bit more. He'd plant one more tree or he would, in fact right now you're sitting, the camera's sitting on a tea box. He would add a little green or a tea box and over time these hundreds of acres have turned into this pristine place with beautiful grass and trees and golf courses and and lakes but it happened over time it didn't happen the day he got the vision this place didn't poof suddenly appear it happened because my father was committed and he had something in his heart and he began to take steps day by day to make this thing happen and God of course blessed him um, with as my dad put feet to that vision that I believe God put on his heart because this place was used for great things. It was used um, to help me in my water skiing, which gave me a platform to now reach people all over the world for Christ. This place is used, um, baptisms happen in these waters. This place is used for In His Wake's ministry. And so I believe God put this vision on my father's heart. And as you read in the Bible, you'll see so many places where God placed things on people's heart. Nehemiah is one of my favorite stories. God put something on Nehemiah's heart to do, and that was to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem. And that seemed like such an insurmountable task. Nehemiah could have looked at that and said, there's no way that could ever happen. But you know what he did when he got that vision? He started to pray, and he started to fast, and he began to ask God for his blessing to move forward in what God was telling him to do. When you think about Noah and God called Noah to do something and he put a vision and gave him instructions for an ark, that ark didn't happen. That ark took over a hundred years to build. You see, it's not about our ability to do something that day. It's about our courage to step out every day towards that vision that God has put on our heart to do. And I believe this morning that God has placed something on your heart. It may be something um, dealing with your health. Maybe it's putting cigarettes down. Maybe it's putting the fork down. Maybe it's losing 100 pounds so that you can have health. You know, that doesn't just poof off. You didn't just put it on overnight. It takes time. But look at this place, what happened over time. If you stay committed, it's not about losing 100 pounds today. It's about losing maybe one or two pounds this week. And with God's help, you can do that. We look at the end result of what has to be done, and we get frightened, and we don't start taking the baby steps to move forward. You know, this course out here, I had to run it one buoy at a time. And that's what life is. It's one buoy, one step at a time towards that vision that God has placed on your heart. 
Again, it's not about your ability to do something. It's about God's ability to do it in you. Your part is to step out and to every day take a step towards that. Say, God, I acknowledge I need your help to lose this weight. I acknowledge I need your help to put down these cigarettes or walk away from that alcohol or walk away from that relationship. Or maybe it's a ministry that God has placed on your heart. God put on my heart 10 years ago in his wake's ministry. I never in a million years dreamed that we would be going all over the world, have um, 60 events in a year. I would have never seen how it could happen. But you know what? God knew it could happen. He was just waiting for me to step out with him. And God brings us out into the deep where it's over our head because that it's there that we rely on him and his ability. If it's something we can go do there's, it's on our own, it's not going to be that great. It's not going to be that fulfilling. But when you step out to do the impossible with God, maybe it's the ministry again. Maybe it's something with your health. Maybe it's something with your health, something with your family, whatever it is, and your job. When you step out and it's a God-sized project and you trust Him and you acknowledge Him, God, I need you, He will direct your steps. He will direct your path, and He will help you. There's one thing that I've seen in our ministry and that is just a vision of how God works. And he showed me this as these children are getting off our, the buses when they come to the Inna's Wakes, a day to remember events. These kids have never water skied in their life. In fact, 90% of these kids have never ever even been in the water. And what happens is they get off the bus and they're afraid. And they, they don't know how they're gonna accomplish what they're gonna do. But you know what, we don't just throw them in the water and say, learn it by yourself. When they get off the bus, you know what we do? We go welcome, we wrap our arms around and we introduce ourselves. We take them over and we give them a life vest. And we give them instruction. And then someone else from our ministry will walk them to the water and grab them by the hand. And some of them are too afraid to get in the boat. So we walk to the boat with them. And when we get them out into the water and they know it's over their head and they know they can't swim, we say, you know what, you can do this and we grab them by the hand, we lead them out of the boat, and we get them to the boom that's off the side of our boat. And we put their hands on there and we say, you know what, you can do this. We've got their skis tied together. We've got a rope that goes to a pulley system into the boat so that we can control the skis. If they will get out of the boat, they can succeed. And what God showed me is there's things he's put on our heart and he's just waiting for us to get out of the boat. He's got the people we need in place throughout our life to help us. God had people to help my dad. He had a friend with a bulldozer. He had um, people that, that had the vision also that could help him know how to landscape land and how to, how to create the banks here at the lake and all the different things. Um, that he wanted to do and had on his heart to do, God sent someone to help him do it. God has sent people to help me in my ministry, whether it's financially or whether it's um, to give me advice and wisdom. It's hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that come and help me. I couldn't do this on my own. And you know what God told me in the beginning? It's way more than where Christy can be and what Christy can do. So I encourage you today, lay aside the excuses. If God has placed a vision in your heart, He's going to send who you need to make that vision a reality. He's going to empower you in the areas that, um, that you need that empowering. You do your part, and God will do His part. Don't look at how far you got to go. Remember, this place, this beautiful place did not happen overnight. This place happened with a daily commitment to move forward. I didn't become a world champion water skier overnight. From the time I put my water skis on to the time I was a world champion, it was 25 years. Noah didn't build the ark overnight. I think it was like 120 years that it took him. But you know what? Great things happen when you get committed and you lay aside the excuses and say, I can't do it. The truth is you probably can't do it on your own, but with God, all things are possible. Remember, he's got the people to help you lined up. He's just waiting for you to put your hands on the bar like those skiers to get out of the boat and say, hit it, God. And when you do that, I guarantee you that you're going to see God do amazing things. 
again, whether it's to lose that weight or, or move forward in a business or a ministry or relationship, whatever it is that God's put on your heart to do, and I stress that, not just what you want to do. You want to be what God, be where God wants you to be and doing what He wants you to do because it's there you'll have His anointing and His grace and His strength and His power and His provision and His peace to do it. So I encourage you this morning, what has God put on your heart to do? Identify that thing. Pray about it. And when you get the direction for God, lay aside the excuses and start moving forward. And I'm telling you, in 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to look back and say, wow, look what the Lord has done. May the Lord bless you today.